Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Deep Cats Reactions, and my name's Greg, and you know, I listened to some Joan Osborne the other day, and it was just so good, <laughs> you know, that I'm going to go ahead and play another song by her. You know, most reaction channels don't do that for a good reason, but you know, I'm not most reaction channels. Anybody who watches me regularly or anything like that is well aware of that fact. So anyway, this is a uh, this is from this film that they did, Standing in the Shadows of Motown. And, uh, you know, it's the Funk Brothers, the studio band from Motown. And they've got Joan Osborne with, her, or with them. So let's go ahead and check it out. They're going to do the song, What Becomes of the Broken Hearted. And I think they have a little uh, conversation prior to that. So let's go ahead and check it out. When I started out singing, I used to sing in this little blues bar in New York called Dan Lynch, and they had this amazing jukebox. And I would go over there pretty much every night after I played, and I would play that song, What Becomes of the Broken Heart. Yeah, I feel as though that the Broken Heart is a song that could really live again. Well, no? this will be so the audition just... today and see if we can... Uh, no, it won't be an audition. Uh, You've already passed me. the test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a good opportunity to see if you really like it after we give me this plan. Right. <laughs> to see if we still have it. <laughs>
God, that was just superb, man. She, she, I, you know, it starts out and she's just freaking grooving to the song. You know, it's such a great song. And, you know, for anybody who's old enough to have been there, you know, when that was playing, it's like, oh, man. But what a performance. I, I was really entranced with uh, how she would hold a note for quite a long time and then do a couple of other words while she's still on the same breath. You know, I thought that was pretty, pretty great. And, you know, she's, she's got a really pure voice, but then she can kind of, you know, gravel it out at, at some points. It was really, really very nice, but she was so into that. And, uh, I don't know, the, the band were, they were so good. And the, the conducting was good. I mean, that's something I normally don't talk about in a rock and roll song or Motown or whatever. But, but yeah, the the arrangement was just perfect. Those those stops near the end were were so precise, man. And the the drummer hitting it on that. I don't know. Like I say, the musicians were all so great, and nobody was uh, was overdoing anything. It was all just straightforward and you know simple i mean the bass lines that guy was doing they were simple but god they were superb and i don't know i just thought it was a, a joy to listen to i really enjoyed that so i hope you guys did and i will be back in a minute and play something so uh hit like subscribe and hit the notification bell and we will see y'all then bye bye <laughs>